you get to meet me. I am the voice behind Carrots and Olives on YouTube. Today, I kind of wanted to change it up and do a different type of video. So what is Carrots and Olives? Well, I, for me, it's an outlet to be able to express my art and creativity and a lot of the things that I just like to accumulate. So that's pretty much what Carrots and Olives is about. Also, I hope to move toward a channel that will produce more of my artwork as I learn how to um, develop my artistic style as well. So yeah, but today's video is more relaxed and it's more about some of the things that I've been like messing around with and playing around with and um, I wanted to give you a different view of my window. Right. Anyway, so some of the things I'm going to talk about today are going to be about some of the things that kind of do really make the cut or um, for like unboxings and things. I know some people probably love them, like I love unboxings, um, mixed media unboxings and all that kind of thing, but some people don't. So I thought why not do like a face-to-face -face interaction type thing and kind of show what I've been doing. Now, if you don't like this type of style, I'm sorry, I just wanted to change it up, but also let me know in the comments and um, so I can adjust to what my audience prefers. So let's get started. I want to talk about this guy. Okay, so this is the... Um, ro uh, Rotodon? Okay, so this is the Rotafadden. <laughs> I hope I'm not butchering the name. Um, and this I actually got, I'm looking on my computer screen, so bear with me. Um, it is the Rotafadden Toshbenleite. I hope I said it right. Um, and so this is in the brown, and this is the pocket size. And you can see that color. It's so, oh, the leather is like awesome. It's, I mean, it's kind of thick, but the leather on the inside and then the leather on the outside, it has a good weight to it. And it doesn't feel like too heavy, but it does feel pretty substantial. Um, sorry if I keep looking in like this direction, it's because I just want to make sure that I'm still in focus. But, the cool thing about the Rotafadden is that you get these clips and I don't know if you remember this back in the day like if you're in your late 20s and early or late 20s and older um, we used to have this type of style of like back in the school days of I don't know filing and things like that and holding your books together but they have this and what you do, well, this size has two of them. And what you do is put in your notebook. Now, I currently have a uh, Hobonichi Techo in here. And this guy, I'm not really sure. I did post like a poll on Instagram just to see what you guys thought if I should put one notebook or if I should add a second notebook. And even with the second notebook in here, and for me, notebook, I'm talking about like a thicker notebook, this will easily take two like Tomoe River insert type notebooks easily. You could probably put like three somehow in here. But I want to do like, I like the thick notebooks now, currently, or at least in here. And I don't know, I, I mean, a lot of people said keep the two, um, and I like how it feels. It's like a good grip on the notebook. But anyway, back to the product. Um, so it comes with these two red uh, bookmarks, and you get two pen loops, and I guess if you had smaller size books, you could probably put 
one pen through both loops if you wanted to. But yeah, but it just, the, the leather smells nice. And this one in particular has leather on the outside and on the inside. Now I did get this from jetpens.com and uh, they have the A6, they have it in black and then they have it in brown and then they have the A5 um, in black and brown. And then they um, have the Rotofaden that does not have the leather on the inside. It has like the felt which is not as expensive as the A5 that has like leather on the front and on the back. So anyway, this is one of the things I've been kind of messing around with. I'm still not sure if I should keep my Hobonichi Techo in here. You know me, I just keep switching them from this notebook to another notebook cover, another notebook cover. Okay, I just, I'm indecisive sometimes, or maybe you could say I'm very decisive and I want to just change things up every now and again. So that is one of the things I've been loving. Um, I know I did a video on this guy. It was an unboxing. Zooming in, zooming in, and this is purple. It is a beautiful leather, and it's hard to describe because it's not like, it's very smooth and soft, but you can see texture in the notebook. And then, I mean, it marks a little bit, but not as much as you would think for like a pull-up leather. This is not a pull-up leather no but it just it feels so smooth and in fact it's almost like structure enough to be used as a folio but at the same time it's not the same type of structure as a pull-up leather with the um, like the um, like like the Roadrunner I don't know why I couldn't think of the name okay so this is the Roadrunner absolutely love it I did not roll it like I've seen other people roll it and I think I might do it um, because I've had it long enough like this and I think I might roll it just to see how it looks but I always go back to this guy even though I have like this one and I have the um, the pink the poppy and the the Rose of Sharon so I'm just always going back and forth but I always go to this one because I love it now this one is the, one of her newest and it was in the surprise uh, leather so um, I think she has another purple in the surprise leather so I would definitely send her an email and when I mean by her I'm talking about Rowena at Sojourner um, USA.net and yeah so that's what I've been really writing in and also I'm like towards the end and I'm like super excited because this is a really, like, this is a thick notebook. You can see the pages getting all crinkly as you use them, which is kind of a cool indicator to see where you are um, and how close you are to the end and finishing the book. But I don't know if any of you are like this. I kind of feel like, oh, I want to get over with already. I want to get a new book in here. So I guess that just means I need to journal more often. Okay, and then in that same unboxing video, I talked about this guy and this is the standard cover and what I did with it was um, and I've never done this to any of my notebooks before but I tanned this one and so I will try to insert a picture of what it was before or you can go and visit that uh, YouTube video and this is what it looks like now now it didn't get super dark but it did get some color to it it's no longer like really white oh here you go you can kind of see how white it was and then what it looks like now so this is the natural leather and then this one is is it stag I'm not 100% sure but you can kind of tell from the inside the leather was sorry my camera keeps going in and out and you can hear it and my voice is echoing because I can't find my microphone so a bunch of crazy things so, I tanned it I plan on using it I just haven't figured out in what capacity I will be using it yet so that is that um and then real quick I do still have my chic sparrow and this is in the weeks um or this is the weeks cover 
I think I might try to tan this guy. I don't know. Like, I kind of want to because I don't really take it with me everywhere. So I feel like it's going to take forever to get, like, its character. But it still kind of is. I have, like, all these scratches. I have some paint um, marks on here and and whatnot. And I do like it. This is the Buttered Rum, um, Mr. Darcy. And if you haven't checked it already, I do have a video. I tried to do a plan with me video in my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, every Sunday it usually goes up. And I do want to let you know that I just made these cute little June calendars. And they look like these. They're cute frogs. They're frogs, guys. They're not the gecko, geico thing. They're frogs. They're my interpretation of a frog. So, I have those. And I'm showing you this because these are free if you do purchase anything from my shop in between now and um, the end of the month. So, I will slip these in there. And these are actually sticker sticky back. And let me show you what I did to one of the large ones and this is in my Hobonichi but I literally just put it there and I stuck it in there because it's sticker and it's a glossy paper so yeah okay what else I have mentioned this a couple times already but I really, 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 really love these stencils. And I don't know if it's just because, I don't know, I just like to change things up. And these stencils were like $11, $12 on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Uh, some new things I got from my desk. Is this little guy, it's a frog. Yes, it's a frog. And I'm just putting like various little things, knickknacks on my desk, sometimes I change it up to whatever little small items I have on my desk. And then they had these, and I got these all from Marshalls. And this is the Create, it says Create on here. And it is porcelain. And it's just a nice touch because it's not perfect. It kinda has like the bumps in it. But it holds all my accessories and my pens and fountain pens and things that I use almost all the time and then I have another one and this one's more for makeup but if you do like a quick glance you'd be like nah it could be for for like you know artists um I did get the 42 set of the Prismacolor Premiere and I used them to make those stickers for June my frog stickers or calendar stickers and it went on so nicely. I was like shocked how like smooth they went on. I mean, when people say smooth, they're not kidding when it comes to these colored pencils. And actually, I was surprised that on Amazon, these are like inexpensive. So, got some of those. I'll link that below in the description. Uh, it came with the sharpener, Prismacolor sharpener. And then it also came with the Prismacolor like eraser thing and this thing actually works really well so that all came in a bundle set like under $30 the sailor ink which I got and um, that's because after I bought that sailor fountain pen the Lacole I wanted to try the sailor ink because it looked like it had really good shading and it's alright, but I love the blue. You know, I'm in love with blue. It's my favorite color. So, like, half of my inks are blue. Different shades of blue. Luckily, there's a lot of um, ink makers that make a lot of different blue shades. So, I did get those Uniball Signo DX. It won't zoom in because it likes my face. Okay. So, I got these. And um, I'm in love with the blue. This is, like, the blue-black color. And this is, like, a khaki golden color and they are both in the 0.38 so it makes a perfect fine line not too thick and not too thin okay so I got 
this. This is the McCaffrey um, uh, Penman's ink and this was uh, purchased from Jet Pens and it is the gloss black and I didn't really understand what that meant until after I've been using it for a little bit and it's actually a really 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 nice gloss black and I haven't used watercolor on it but I did use it um, in my Instagram live and I did write this quote and you can kind of see the gloss and um, I realized that there is a big difference between dip pen ink, dip pen ink, and fountain pen ink. I've been using a lot of fountain pen ink with my dip pens, which you can do, but I found that with dip pen ink, you don't have to dip your pen so often. So I was missing out and I was doing too much work with my dip pen, but that's okay. Um, I did get this new like dip pen holder it has the cork on towards the hand so it's, it fits pretty comfortably it's a little bit different well let's say it's a lot of it different than the one you get in the like the speedball pack and that's what it looks like um, and then I got this new nib from a seller on Etsy However, I realize I love the speedball nib that you get. It's like the 101. I can't remember what the name of this one is, but I really like the one on this cork um, holder. Now, I did get the cork holder from Jet Pens, and um, it was pretty inexpensive. So, I don't know if that means you should be getting like a couple just to have on hand in case it just breaks down, but... I know that my speedball one has been cracking a lot and um, and I know it will soon become uncomfortable to use so that's why I got the second one is that all I have to say today if you have been following me and watching my YouTube videos you will know that I was um, out of town not too long ago and I actually used these out of town and this is the medium and this is the small just so you know I use them both so really I was able to fit all my B6 slims my Hobonichi um, Techo in here and my weeks in here but I didn't take my weeks I was able to fit it inside this pouch and it was like amazing like right now you could fit this is an A5 notebook sitting in this thing comfortable um, but yeah, this thing is not really as big as you may think it is, but it can fit a lot of stuff. And actually, I think I overpacked by putting too much accessories in here because I was able to put this into my purse. And you know that brown purse that I have. Um, I did a video on it. And um, everything fit pretty snugly. I was actually able to fit both of these in there. So I put a lot of other accessories in here. And then I put like mainly my books and... Um, and then my like pen pouches like in here. I really liked traveling with these. They were nice and I like that you could, I think you should be able to wash this material if it were to get dirty and whatnot. Um, because it is cotton, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if anyone has. And I don't even know why you would as like an artist, mixed media type person because if you get stuff on it, it's almost like it brings character to the bag. So, anyway, I use these. I like them. Go check them out if you don't have one. I think that's all I really got to talk about. There is something coming in the mail. And I will try to do an unboxing of that. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys like this video. I don't know if I'm going to be doing much face-to-face -to -face too often. But, um... I didn't think it was that bad. I'm sorry. I know my eyes keep looking off and you're probably like, stop looking over to the side. I know it's kind of weird when your eyes just wander. Um, sorry. It's like first time in a long time. Um, and all these ums. I wish I had like a script on the side of my wall so I can just read. But then again, it wouldn't be as interesting, I don't think. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
for all of you subscribers thank you for subscribing and if you're new to my channel consider subscribing and I will see you guys all next time bye I wanted to make this video for you guys because I wanted to talk to you I know how to say it I know how to say it